So I just got home, parked the bus, closed the door, and we have a visitor. So now I gotta go unlock the bus and let him out. And he's gone. So in this video, I'm going to be installing a lock on this door. Uh, originally, I wasn't gonna film it that in depth because there's so many other videos where people put locks in it and they try to like act like they know what they're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna go for it and see what happens. I am gonna film it and I'm gonna film my process in case somebody has a door just like this because I know that when I was trying to research it, nobody showed a way to do it on a door that looked just like this. I'm gonna do something very similar but there's always slight variations in the doors, whether it be how this rubber coating sits, if the doors lay flat, how big this space here is, how big this space here is, how thick the door is, they're all completely different. This is a Chevy Express 3500 mid bus. So if you have one of those and the door looks just like this, hopefully what I do works and then you can try to do the same thing. All right, first step is to take off this handle, and then I think I need to take off this extra metal plate, so I'll have to grind these rivets out. Sweet, that was easy. I decided I am gonna paint this quick. It probably won't dry by the time I actually do it, but it'll be better than nothing. All right, here is my test fit. Oh, I ripped it off. <laughs> well, if the tape would stay on. There you go, that's why you test fit things. Um, doesn't fit. Okay, so this block of wood needed to shift over by that much. Oh, that's <laughs> well, it doesn't work because they're taped on. <laughs> but I do think that will work. Okay, one thing that I got to make sure to pay attention to is where the hole's going through because I did watch a video where somebody, they accidentally hit like this joint with the hole and that did not work out. So I do think that I'm clear there. This piece of wood will fit right there and this piece of wood fit right there should be pretty perfect i do think one of the best parts about this is that it's a bus so if it's not perfect no one will know and that's that let's do the other side before I go any further, I'm gonna check the alignment because I really want them to be level with each other. And they freaking are, look at that. This is exciting, this is like the first thing we've added to the bus. We've only taken away. All right, so here's one issue. These things don't sit perfect. This is actually like raised a little bit. So I'm gonna quickly grind this uh, as like a secondary plate behind it and then that'll hold it in place hopefully templates up we're gonna drill the screw holes and then the big hole here we go they make this packaging out of the only type of plastic that the recycling plant I go to does not recycle. It's PVC, number three, when you look at the thing, unfortunately. And I don't really have a way to get it without this plastic, so. That sucks. I keep hitting this door behind me, and it makes that door move, and I'm like, what the
I went all the way through on this side, and now there's a hole on this side, so I'm gonna start from this side and go through so I don't get any sharp metal bits. <laughs> issues there. It's pretty good. I don't know how it got so off. There's not much I can do about it now, so... Oh, the truth! I didn't get a chance to film it yesterday, but I got the lock on. Door opens. Door closes most of the time, but there are a couple issues. It does lock and unlock, provided you push it closed. It's locked. And then here's one of the issues. Despite it being locked, you can still pull it open. And you can pull it open to the point where even somebody with big fat hands like me Reach inside and unlock it. So that's a huge issue. And that's really the only one I'm concerned with. When you lock this, they're sitting about as far away as they can. But the real issue here is that when you push the doors, these two parts actually get closer together due to the nature of the way the door works. So because they get closer together, it doesn't matter how far I put it here, it's always gonna get closer right there, right? And then it gets to the same distance. This thing does wiggle around because of the way that I mounted it. I think I'm gonna have to just drill through this plate, add some more holes in it. No more wiggling, sweet. Didn't work. I was just driving and went over a speed bump and that happened. Temporary solution. Um, I'm on my way to make this better. So I just needed to hold for now. My God. Went from being so perfect to just like a mess. There was probably one way that I could have test fitted it without drilling the hole through the door, the big hole, to see if this would be a problem, but I had no clue this would be a problem. Nobody else that I've seen on YouTube has had this issue. I tried to search for it this morning. I'm taking the switchboard apart. I'm gonna try to make it into a lock. I figured out the door. <laughs> I, no, I got too flustered and upset that it wasn't working, so I stopped filming. But I did it, and I didn't do it with the lock we were using. But what I did was I took it, took it into the workshop and I chopped it to bits. And now we've got this lever or latch that sinks down into that. And it doesn't move. You can open it, push it open, close it, and miss. You do uh, have to kind of pull this side, boom, to get it in. But we'll put a little handle on this side somewhere. And yeah. Cool, custom little door. Go ahead, lock me out. We're not gonna be able to open it from uh, the outside, like coming this way. We'll have to go through at least one person this way and latch up that way. But for now it works, and if we get frustrated with that, we'll figure something else out. But who cares? Yeah. Bye.
And so I got to put the plate back over the hole we carved here, but it actually ended up being perfect because that bolt sits here. So we'll cover that up and we're going to buff out the inside of this door with a little bit of trim anyways. We'll probably do a little nice little wooden trim thingy or something. And we'll do some weatherproofing stuff. Custom door latch. My first fabrication of something like this. First time building something out of metal. You need to clean up the workshop, but I'll show you my mess in there so you can kind of get an idea of what I did. <laughs> there was this big bracket thing that housed the big switchboard and it had the handle that locked into the door and it already had this neat little hinge thingy. And so I took the part that had the hinge thing and I chopped the hinge thing off. And then I took the handle that was two parts sandwiched together and I took one half of it off and I bolted it to the hinge thingy and then I drilled holes in the hinge thingy. Then I took this thing and I chopped one of the legs off of it. Once I chopped that off, I cut a little notch in it for the handle to fall into and then I drilled holes in that. And I kind of test fitted it all just by stacking it on wood and making sure that it laid out nicely. And then I said, all right, let's just try it. And I put it all together and I didn't film any of it because I was frantically trying to get it done and frustrated that nothing was working. Happy it worked and it looks kind of cool. Work day for today is over. Madison was able to put sealant inside that rim that we grinded out um, and I was able to lock the door. The only thing left to do is put weather stripping back on the door. So I'm going to do that now before I go to work. We are going to also install a little latch on the bottom of that door. And now that that thing's gone, we can rip out the rest of this floor.